Meet the original Raging Bull. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew, and on the bench today is a Matchbox K24 Lamborghini Mira. This is the second casting out of a recent mail call from friend of the channel, Aaron B. Thanks again, Aaron. This is actually the car that started our whole back and forth email conversations. He sent me a picture of this and asked if I'd like to have it, and I said, put that in a box. Even though it's banged up and well-worn, you can tell this is a beautiful car. The mirror comes from the Matchbox Speed Kings line, which means it's a little bit larger size. This is a 1 to 43 scale, and that affords it a bit more room for some movable parts and extra features. But the disassembly is the same. I put it in the bench vise and drill out the rivets. And you can see all the pieces here. Looks like it's been out in the sandbox, got a little bit of road rash on it. I think some decals have been put on and torn back off. It's certainly been well used and played with, as I would have if it had been mine. First thing to go is the trailer hitch, and I did not take care at all here. I just tore it out because I don't want to reuse it. And the glass is essentially dirty. I don't see any bad pits or cracks in it. And just a lot of backyard dirt inside the interior and the dashboard, which are supposed to come apart like that. Off come the original wheels out of the suspension system. I'm not going to reuse those either. I'll 3D print a new set of authentic Mura wheels and rims. The chassis is going to need some special attention. This is the removable engine cover. I fear it's been stepped on because it's not fitting just right. And it's missing the louvers on there. I'm going to have to recreate those myself. The engine pops out after drilling another rivet. Here I'm removing the front grille as well. Nicely detailed, and I think that's everything. It's my practice to put all the pieces into a little plastic bin, because I'll work on this on and off throughout the course of a whole week, and I don't want to lose anything. According to Wikipedia, the Mura is a sports car produced by Italian automaker Lamborghini between 1966 and 1973. It was the first supercar with a rear mid-engine two-seat layout, a design that has since become the standard for high-performance sports and supercars. When released, it was the fastest production road car. It's my favorite Lamborghini. Far more beautiful than today's space-age looking angular concepts. Tell me in the comments below if you're old school like me and you agree. During 1965, Lamborghini's three top engineers put their own time into developing a prototype car known as the P400 against the wishes of company founder Ferruccio Lamborghini. They envisioned a road car with a racing pedigree one which could win on the track and be driven on the road by enthusiasts. The three men worked on its design at night, and when finally revealed, Lamborghini gave his engineers his blessing to carry on with their dream. You can see now that my vision for the Mira is to go with smart-looking gold trim and highlights. Here's a peek at what's coming real soon on Maple Leaf Customs. There's a 71 Hemi Cuda. I've been challenged to do this hot rod based on an Ian Russell car using a cool combi. 
I picked out this Aston Martin Valhalla for the January Four Horsemen Exotics build, and I'm inviting you to join with more than 40 other builders to celebrate my YouTube channel's fourth anniversary in the annual All Porsche Build-Off. The two main body parts get primered in basic white, That's the proper undercoating for our bright red Lamborghini top coat, which I apply in a couple of layers with my airbrush. Today's community shout out goes to a YouTube channel called Monaco Miniatures. He's working predominantly in 1 to 24 scale size, and I encourage you to visit there. Give him some support as he's starting up his channel. The Mura featured a very unique set of tires, rims, and lock nuts. I was fortunate to be able to find a version of this on Thingiverse that I printed in three different parts. They look like this. There are the tires. Put some fatties on the back and thinner up front. Painted the matte black. Look how small that locking nut is. So very carefully and meticulously, I connected four of those to the rims, secured them on some tape, and shot them in gold to match the rest of the highlights. They pressure mount perfectly back together. Look at that. That really makes this unique and is a big upgrade from the original Speed King's wheels. I didn't have to make axle tubes, but I have new brass axles that go through the original suspension and just a touch of super glue inside each of the wheels. I leave a little bit of play. There's free motion, and it's a great roller. As I refurbish this tired out old windshield, I'll tell you a little bit more of the storied history of this Lamborghini. In its original unveiling, it was absolutely incomplete. Only the rolling chassis was displayed at the Turin Salon in 1965. Impressed showgoers placed orders for the car despite the lack of a body to go over the chassis. Bertone was placed in charge of styling the prototype, which was finished just days before its debut at the 1966 Geneva Motor Show. None of the engineers had found time to check if the engine fit inside its compartment. Committed to showing the car, they decided to fill the engine bay with ballast and keep the hood locked throughout the show. Even so, the car was the highlight of the exhibition. The P400 was named Mura after the famous Spanish fighting bull and featured in the company's newly created badge. The car gained the worldwide attention of automotive enthusiasts when it was chosen for the opening sequence of the original 1969 version of the film The Italian Job. Here's my 3D printed recreation of the louvered engine cover, primed and now painted in its final iteration of matte black, which nicely offsets all of the gold trim highlights. Not much left to do now, but the interior was begging for some attention. Not only was it filthy dirty, which I'll attend to now, but rather plain in monochromatic cream. So I'm mixing up some Vallejo Middlestone Brown, which gives it a nice tan leather appearance. Oh, blown away. That already looks better, but I'll give it some black trim too. It could stand out even more. I want to give special attention to the exterior detail because the Mura is such a classy car. 
So with a chrome pen, I do the exhaust tips. If you ever make a little mistake, I just use a toothpick, clean that off. And I'm putting decals in place of hand painting the tail lights. Much sharper and more accurate when I do this, and it's easy. Like so. You ever notice on the mirror these distinctive eyelashes that surround the headlights? Well, I could never hand paint that, so I made up a couple of black decals, placed them over the openings, which I'll cut away soon. The Bertoni badge goes behind both doors. And the Raging Bull badge as the final touch. The body was clear coated and left to cure overnight. And a beautiful shine on it. The engine was replaced as was the front grille. There's the refurbished glass looking brand new now. That came out great. And I think this two-tone interior is a vast upgrade to the cream. I'm particularly fond of the way the tail end of this came together. I put a MLC license plate on it. Channel badge on the bottom, and for me the highlight of this build were those specialty Mura wheels. The louvered engine cover will be the last thing to go on. It's pretty delicate. The glass pops in place, pressure mounted, no need for glue or resin. Flip the seats over. They're held in place by a little pin. And this was the, kind of the tricky part. Not only in the disassembly, but in the reassembly. And it fits much better now, after a couple of adjustments. There's my gold chassis. I like those highlight colors. There are three screws to go back in their original place. I'm going to redo them over in gold. I decided later I didn't like the red. Let's have a closer look. Oh, the red and gold is a nice combo. I'm glad I went that way. The engine cover opens up to reveal the Stonkin L406 V12 5-speed engine that motors this one along. There's my channel logo. And I love these 3D printed wheels. Three pieces each and a lot of minute assembly. Eyelashes. That's the whole shooting match. Here's what it started like. Pretty rough shape, missing some parts, a little bit crooked in the back, and it looked pink to me. But dressed up beautifully now. Oh, I think it came out fine. Red is a common Lambo color, so I sold out and went with that, but decided the gold trim highlights would make it special. And I think it works. I invite you to leave your respectful comments below and tell me what you think. And I want to say thank you for visiting my channel today. I hope you'll come back soon and often. It's coffee time.